It's the run, swim, run. A lot of nervous and cold looking girls on the line. We'll have a long run, a long swim, and a long run to finish before we crown a round four champion. And this is one of the toughest events in the summer of surf, Jack. It's only very new. We brought it in last year, but it's become a crowd favorite very quickly. Oh, it sure has. And Lana Rogers is here. Lana Rogers is racing, and she has been so dominant in the run, swim, run so far. And with three races, three podium finishes, one win, she's going to be pushing that pace, Josh, up the front end here at Torquay. You don't see her sprint out off the start like a couple of the girls do, but she's definitely close enough. And just as I say it, of course, she leads the run. The commentator's curse there. Lana Rogers on the front. She's going to lead from start to finish at this point. Kirsty Hardstaff trying to go with her alongside a couple more of the local girls from Warrnambool there. They'll have no dramas in the cold. Naomi Scott a little bit further down and Taylor Piscaric, the last one around that turning flag, but it, do it doesn't mean much, does it? We know sprinting at the start can certainly help you if you can hold on, but nine times out of ten, the first one around the flag doesn't win the race. You see it in the men's a lot more and the men tend to go backwards very, very quickly. The boys that conserve that energy in the run, just control that heart rate, seem to be able to get the job done when it comes to the swim and finish that run off they build into the race and the girls seem to be able to go out that little bit harder in that run and hold on well maybe it's the run wade swim wade run because have a look at the duck diving these girls are going to have to go through here a couple of waves in that water that's too deep to run too shallow to swim and it's just that awkward height there and a couple of the girls still on their feet well a couple are still trying to swim well roger's done a great job so far josh and she's the first one out into that open green water so she's out of the aerated water that we can see the white bubbles and she's really making her move now it might be maddie spencer from the newport club hot on her heels the yellow cap couple of maroon stripes there but lana rogers a great job so far and she's really had a stellar year i know we've gone on about it over and over and the year's only early days as a big set comes through. They'll have to dive down very deep to get under this one. Get the uh, the old ice cream headache as they head underwater there. But I don't think I can say enough about how much improvement she's shown. She's gone from being a very good iron woman and a very good swimmer to one of the top echelon in not only the summer of surf, but just the sport in general. Yeah, Lana Rogers has had a huge year so far and we're looking for her to continue that throughout the course of the summer and as she gets more race practice under her belt, as she gets more race ready, Lana Rogers is going to be a real force to be reckoned with. Jade Mickle there from City of Perth, we love the West Australians in the thick of the action. Nikki Chapman from Maroochydore, we don't see the Maroochydore cap much. Tiani Massey's there, we see it a lot at the Aussie titles. Naomi Scott, she's going to try and swim her way through the pack but there's nothing harder than trying to push, shove grit and grind your way through girls who are swimming just as fast as you are. Well, I think Naomi Scott is struggling with the cold, Josh. That would be my only tip. I saw in the ski race she was wearing a hot top. You're not going to swim in a hot top out here, and I think that's the biggest thing that's slowing Naomi Scott down at the moment because I haven't seen her this far back in a surf race or run, swim, run this year. She's only young. She's only small. There's no meat on her at all. So she's got to be feeling the cold in her bones down here, and it is relentless in Victoria. It's unforgiving even in the middle of summer, but that's why we come here. It tests the athletes. It's something a little bit different. They have a great time down here in the summer of surf and they want to come back, that's for sure. And Lana Rogers just wants to go home. She gets to the turn in can first. 180 degree turn all the way home. And once again, like the surf race, we won't see them go as far to the left-hand side, that Torquay point, as we saw in the other craft leagues, because the waves, they're just too full. They won't pick them up. The girls will make a beeline for home and hope they get a wave as soon as they hit the bank. Well, with high tide at this stage, Josh, it's a lot fuller in the Bay of Torquay there and the girls are making their way they must head in between the two black gate cans that you can see and that's where they're heading on the way home that gives them a little bit of guidance towards the finish line it is still Lana Rogers leading out from Maddie Spencer a lot of these girls would have been out beforehand doing a warm-up they would have picked a marker on the beach wouldn't they and that gives them their line home and once you just pick and stick don't you you, you look for maybe a tree or maybe a tent and you just go for that and hope that a wave comes well, they'll be looking for that Kennard's higher super box it's right behind the finish line on the beach and the crowd are going mental in the super box few beers few beverages few biscuits and they're really enjoying the day here at Torquay. Oh, it's one of the new things we've brought in this year for the summer of surf and it just makes it better and the great additions are going to continue all summer long until our end of season final at Surfers Paradise and then we'll go to the Kellogg's Nutrigrain final, North Cronulla the state and Australian championships will wrap things up on that Sunday 
afternoon with the Ironman and Taplin relays, and that's why we love surf life saving. And this is why we love the summer of surf. The best athletes at the best locations doing the best races and giving their best day in, day out. Well, Lana Rogers is the best, Josh. She is dominant in the run swim run she's looking to take her second win her fourth podium from four rounds so far this summer and she's really going away with this one at the moment oh isn't she ever but the girls are hanging on there so maybe she's just struggling a little bit she's had a big program today already and she just can't get that gap but we saw her lead the run she's led the swim so far i don't know if any of these girls can go with her in the final sprint so maybe it's just a matter of getting to the beach with the group and that'll be good enough She's still got that six-beat kick working, so we know she's got plenty left in the tank, and she's trying to get that blood pumping through the legs so when she gets up and run, she doesn't have all her blood in her arms. Waves on, waves on out the back. I don't know if it'll make a difference for Maddie Spencer. She is really going to need something here. Looks like one of the City of Perth girls, maybe Jade Mickle, but on the front, Lana Rogers picks it up. That perfect timing we spoke about. She picked up a line, swam as hard as she could, was the first one to the bank, and got offered a wave, and... That gap is unbeatable from here. It'll honestly be a race for second place at this point as Maddie Spencer pushes hard away from the rest of the group. Jade Mickle doing her best as well, trying to get a wave, as is Jess Miller from Northcliffe doing her best. Alex Nolan's there, but Lana Rogers is up and running without a drama in the world. That'll be the easiest run, swim, run finish you will ever see. Gives a big thumbs up to the Ken Artai super box there. They love her up there, and she loves it down here. The Summer of Surf, round four, Torquay Beach. Lana Rogers on top. What else is new? Great performance from her. Maddie Spencer, great job there. Really, really strong performance from Maddie Spencer of the Newport Club, and we wait to see who will round out the podium as they come up and around. And it looks like, oh, maybe, who's that? Greta Peterson there from Burley Heads, but she's just in front of Nikki Chapman. They're going to have to go for the line. Chapman's not giving up, but so this is the interesting part. Every place, every race, and Chapman shows a bit of grit, goes in front of her there, picks off the third place finish ahead of Greta Peterson. Sophie Thompson, sorry, Sophie Thomas from Warrnambool gets across in fifth place. So a great performance from the local Eliza Smith there as well as Lara Moses. Alana Rogers on top, too good, too strong, too fast in the run, swim, run. And it's Spencer and Chapman in second and third. Further down the page, Mickle missed the wave. Pascarek, Scott never fired. Brown, Smith and Rich from Half Moon Bay. They round us out. Oh, thank you. Um, I've worked hard off this whole season, so I'm really happy. Oh, look, it's a lot different than these though. We've been in a heat wave, but, um, you know, you've got to get used to it. You've got to do what the surf gives you. So, so far, so good. Came home with a win. Um, oh, I feel like I've developed over this off season. You know, I've changed some in coach with Brian Senior, and he's helping me to get my stroke correct, so I'm feeling really good about it. Well, Brian Steer has coached a few Olympians and a lot of champion swimmers, and he's a great bloke to boot. He's done a great job with Lana Rogers on top. 119 